Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using plugins in Gatsby. One of the cool things about Gatsby is it allows you to install and use external plugins inside of your project. And these external plugins can do a bunch of cool things. They can add elements to your website or they can make your website more powerful. So you definitely want to consider using plugins if you're building a Gatsby site. I'm over here in my web browser on this page right here. It's gatsbyjs.org forward slash docs forward slash plugins. And this is sort of like the official plugins page for Gatsby. And so if we just scroll down on this page, you'll see there's this huge list of official Gatsby plugins that you can use. And a lot of these plugins were just developed by Gatsby. And there's also a bunch of plugins that were developed by the community. And these plugins do a, you know, a wide variety of things, you know, all sorts of stuff. Um, and they can really just make your website a lot more powerful. And so what you should do is just kind of click through these plugins and see if any catch your eye, see if any you know, you, might be useful on your website. For example, here's one for Google Analytics. And for a lot of these um, plugins, the ones that are official plugins, there's like a, uh, they have their own page on Gatsby's website. So you'll see like this plugin has its own page and there's like installation instructions and it tells you how to use them. A lot of these plugins will require like a little bit of configuration to really get them going. And then a lot of these community plugins will just link you to a GitHub page. And you can, you know, same thing, just read the readme.markdown file and they give you the installation instructions and stuff like that. So I want to talk to you in this video about you know, in downloading and installing your own plugin. And in this video, we're actually going to install a plugin for typography JS and typography JS is like a CSS framework that we can use inside of our website to kind of just make it look better and style it a little bit better by default. So imagine something like bootstrap, which, you know, styles your website. That's kind of like the plugin that we're going to be using. So, the way that you install these plugins and the first thing that you always have to do is install the plugin using the node package manager. So I'm just going to go down in my terminal and I'm just going to type out the following command. I'm just going to type npm install dash dash save and the plugin that I'm going to be installing is this Gatsby plugin typography. And what this will do is it'll install everything we need to run that typography JS on our Gatsby website. So I'm just going to click enter and node package manager will go out and do its thing and get everything it needs to run typography. Once that's finished running and you get a success, then there's one more thing that we have to do, which is we basically just have to tell Gatsby that we want to use that plugin. So we have to let Gatsby know like, Hey, we installed this plugin and we want to use it in our website. The way we can do that is by telling Gatsby inside of this Gatsby config.js file. Now this isn't a file that's going to be inside of your directory by default. And so you want to create this file and you want to create this file at the root directory of your site. So in my case, it would be inside of this GA site folder. So this Gatsby config file should be, you know, in the same directory as the source folder and the public folder inside of this, Gatsby config.js file, we want to type a few things. The first thing we're just going to type is module dot exports. And this is going to be equal to two curly brackets. And then inside of here, I just want to make an array. So it's going to be plugins. And inside of this plugins array, we're just going to type out all the plugins that we want to use. So in my case, I'm using the Gatsby plugin typography. Once you have this in here, basically this is just telling Gatsby like, Hey, we want to use this plugin and this Gatsby is going to read this config file every time it builds your site. So what we want to do is just restart our website. So restart our web server and I just have it running down here. So I'm just going to Gatsby develop and we'll restart our web server. And actually, I think I spelled module wrong. Yes, that's why that's not working. So now that that's finished running, I want to go over to my website. And right here, you'll notice that the text has actually changed style. So before the text was like, not really styled very well. And now it actually looks pretty good. And so what actually happened was this typography plugin got used by Gatsby and it changed the way that our text looked right. So the typography is like a CSS framework. So it's changing the look and the feel of our site. And if I inspect this page, 
and I go up here in the head of our website, you'll see that there's this new element here. It's this style tag and it says ID is typography JS. And so actually what happened was Gatsby used that typography plugin to add this typography code inside of our Gatsby site. So all we had to do was just configure the plugin and our website is automatically styled with this cool typography theme. So, you know, what you should do is go over to this plugins website and play around with different plugins, you know, see how they work on your website, see if you like them, see if you don't like them. And, you know, just basically use them to make your site better any way that you can. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.